and cream blush. So this is the e.l.f. Cosmetics blush. These nails will be pretty, but they're not practical. Hi everyone, it is me again. Having a super frustrated day. What I do on super frustrated day? Play around. And the mail came. I was about to get to the eye part, and then this came in the mail. And now, yeah, I got this off AliExpress. Should you? I took a chance. Well, I've seen those brands around before, so I trust them that I'm not gonna like have an infection or anything. And um, this was my first time trying it. In my little intro video on Instagram, um, it was my first time trying to do one of those. And um, I'm legally blind with no glasses on. I can't see. I'm almost legally blind with glasses on. So even now, like I, I have a little, I have a monitor, but I cannot actually see much in the monitor anyway. But move on. I'm actually super, super impressed. Now, this is the look I end up with my eyes. I, mean, I don't know what it looks like to all of you, but I like it. Makes me happy. Now, it wasn't my first time buying a palette from AliExpress, but I would not recommend it because it was frustrating. The seller, it took forever them to actually ship. It took almost three months to get here. I ordered this in early August. I mean, even though I paid like eight ninety five Canadian, so we're not going to complain there. But I have already bought. An, that's not a word. I have already bought a palette from AliExpress in the past. So I'll pull that one out. It was this one. It's a knockoff of what are the Huda Beauty, whichever ones. I don't know which one. But I actually like it, all right? I really actually do. To a point, to a point. I'm sure if I had the money and I could afford the real Huda Beauty, I'd be way happier with it. Um, these colors and the browns and the reds, so. These here, they all kind of leave you with like the same color pattern on your face. But the glimmers and shimmers, it's um, quite better. So on the back, this one says there is eight buttery mattes, six pressed pearls, three duochrome toppers, and one daring glitter. I'm going to say that this one is the glitter, and I've used a lot of it. But other than that, I, I just think it's a mishmash of whatever. Like I said, I use a lot of these ones, but they all kind of give you like that copper, orange, red thing. I do like it, though, because, again, this was like $8 Canadian, and it is from the brand You Can Be. They have a website. You can check them out. They're not going to hurt you. They're knockoffs. That's not cool. But... They're not like, um, how can I put it as a knockoff? They're dupes, not knockoffs. That's what I'm saying. Dupes, not knockoffs. They're not saying that they're like, you know, the actual brand pretending to be it. You can obviously tell that they're trying to pretend. You get my point. But they do have their cruelty free sign. And since they have a website and then their cruelty free sign, they obviously have to follow those. So that's cool. So. So when this came today, super excited. So the first thing I did was look on the back. It does have cruelty free. That's good. I'm trying my best to get as much cruelty free as I can, but I'm also on a budget. So sometimes. Now, I am super happy with this. Super happy. But it has its issues. Let's look at them. So that little paper that fell out. Hold on a minute. Okay, I picked it up. These little paper things. Am I the only one that thinks they're super important but doesn't really know why and freaks out when you lose one that goes to a palette? I don't know. I have no idea if they're... I think they're just there while it's shipped. I don't know, but I... I need to put them there. Side note, that wasn't important. But, I mean, if you look at the colors, I am super impressed. Yeah, I swatched them. 
Yes. And as for swatching, I'm not mad. I mean, some of them actually look really nice. And the shimmers, some of them look really good, like all the way down there. Some of them swatch beautifully. Some of them work beautifully. However, this color right here, this one, it looks so pretty. Like, you want to use it. And if you swatch it, it looks great on your finger, but does nothing on your arm. It doesn't transfer. It doesn't go anywhere. It's basically pointless. But other colors are beautiful. And I'm impressed. They really do stay around a cranberry purplish color. Great. I don't have that in my collection. Let's add it in there. And I really, I use a lot of this one right there. And I know that the trend is like to put a pop of a glitter of a lighter color. For some weird reason, I decided that I want to go with a pop of a glitter with a darker color. I don't know. I don't know nothing about, you know, makeup and all that stuff other than just me watching a bunch of people on YouTube and learn how to do it. Which is fine because most of you guys are really pretty and I don't mind looking at you. <laughs> but, you know. Would I actually recommend this? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. But not through AliExpress. Or maybe, but through a different seller. So I will link the name of the seller I bought this from. Maybe buy it from somebody else. Because that's what AliExpress, you know, you can get more than one thing. No. You can get the exact same thing for more than one person. Sometimes the prices vary, not by much. But this particular seller wasn't a good seller. But this... No problems about it at all. So, since I decided to do that little intro video, I'm trying. I don't know how they work. And I didn't have my glasses on, so I really couldn't see what I was doing. I'm trying my best. I'm going to show you what else is on my face, just because I was playing around with it today. For my base, I have the MAC Prepping Prime. This was my Ipsy sample one. I like it. If I can never afford it, I will buy it again. Because did you know that it actually has little sparklies in it? If you like go in the sun. So you can be a Twilight Vampire. <laughs> Kidding. And then, you know, just the MAC. The next part is just the MAC foundation. And I love this one. I like how it's built and sealed. So there's, you know, aeration if you were to use this sponge. Because before this, all I used was, you know, Elf Cosmetics dupe for this one. <laughs> But it's sealed, so you have to actually open the top part. And, I mean, I've used it. I've already, I, you know. I have no complaints. Will I rebuy this? Definitely. If I get it on sale again on Holook. <laughs> That's my next part. I'm one of those odd ducks, I think, that love cream contour. I guess I figured it out. I don't know. But, same thing for cream blushes. This is the e.l.f cream blush palette in the lighter version and I've had this for about a year now <clears throat> I still have a lot of use left and this is like six dollars so as much as I don't like elf's customer service some of their products are definitely worth it I will just buy them from my local Walmart however but not my point but yeah I do you I don't use this color very much or this one mostly these two but that's just me, right? And then when it comes to doing the contour itself, I was always into these Mega Glow Wet n Wild contour sticks. But I would use a lot less of the darker color than I would of the lighter color. So one day I set out to go buy, you know, a lighter color contour. It turns out that Model Zone had a huge bunch of stuff on sale at Winners that day. So this is technically a foundation stick, but I bought a really, really light color and I use it as my other part of my cream contour. I have the color 10. Okay, 10. I don't know what colors mean. We should have a universal color thing. Wow, what a concept. Um, but you get a lot of products in here. And considering this was $5, because I'm in Canada, and all the Mega Glow Wet n Wilds are about $8 in Canada, and I get twice as much, then I was definitely going with this one anyway. But either way, if you still want to stick with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow, no problem. They work perfectly fine. And then there was my brows. Around here, people just call me the girl with a million dollars in makeup and the pretty brows. 
Whatever. I like them. They're mine. I grew them. I'm thankful that they're still there. Um, but yeah, this Joe Fresh. This one's an ash. I do have a brown. I like the brown better, but we're going to use this one up because I'm not wasteful. And then this is another e.l.f. product. I mean, you can barely tell that it says e.l.f. on it because it's really, really dark. Is this something I'm going to buy from them again? Not from them, no. From a local Walmart? Sure. It's just this tiny, tiny little brush. And it's like colored brow gel and I love it it just kind of holds things in place but it doesn't give you that look of like like it just doesn't look like it's gelled there or like patted down because I do have some pomade for the eyes brows I do have some pomade for the eyebrows and I find that it doesn't I don't know I just find that this makes it look more natural so I mean these are both drugstore and this is five bucks and this was like three, I don't know how much it is regular, but I got it on sale, but I think it's like three or four bucks regular. No, no complaints, no complaints. Yeah, this was my first thing I ever spoiled myself with in high end anything. It was on sale at Holt Look. It was last year's Christmas special. It was the glow on the go or go on the globe, whichever way it goes, from Becca, the highlighter. Now this one is in rose gold, but they have one this year as well, but it's an opal. I'm very tempted, but I don't have that kind of extra money, but it is right now available on Sephora's website for $24 Canadian. Exact same thing. This is the size that you get of both. I do have both on my face. A um, little bit of the cream one and then powder on top and then this because I've got like 16 layers on because I'm having fun. Speaking of layers, how are they all just set there? Tart Amazonian clay stuff. Yep. This one I got in my Ipsy as a sample. And then this one I bought. But not at full price. I got it from Glambot. And um, I would open it, but I, I, I just won't. I've dropped it since and then it crumbled into pieces. And I actually like it better that way because this was a pressed powder. But once I dropped it into pieces, it became a loose powder. I don't know. That's my hack. I'm not that I'm going to purposely drop anything else. But I'm just saying, it was like a happy accident. So they still work very well. And yes, Ipsy, your marketing stuff works. Because I went out and I bought it. Yep, I bought it. And... um. Is it actually better than? No. If you think this is actually better than the act it describes, get out the partner. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We all have our different preferences, all right? But whatever. So yes, I do have the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara on, and I do really, really, really love it. Um, I actually might pay full price for the size, because it is worth it. And... As my eyeliner, it's this Essence number three, 16 hour last. And they don't make number three anymore. And it just makes me, because uh, I really want it. I love it. And this is why. If you can see how it picks up those glitter of blue midnight sky. I love that. It's not a matte black, but it is. And I can't find it anywhere. So if anybody knows where you can get another one, I will. I mean, it's like four bucks, but I'll pay like twice, six. I'll pay six for another one of these. <laughs> this part is a little bit important. I never wet my brushes. I don't like how it ends up making the stuff in the pan look. But I use glitter primer or glitter glue instead. It works for me great. And you know these little spongy, tippy thingies that we never use for anything? They're great for applying glitter primer or glitter glue. So every time I get some in palettes, I just throw them in a little jar. And that's what I use them for. If you look at Simply Nail Logical, she paints her nails with them. But maybe I'll do that too. I don't know. Do that for fun too. And then at the end, I'm still with e.l.f. This is the color blush on top, and this is the bronzer. So, bright pink, 
and light matte. I really want to branch out though, not because there's anything wrong with these. I just find them a little bit too drying and then I have like a cake face. I probably have too much powder on, but whatever. But that's where, you know, setting spray comes in and saves the day. Now, I have a lot of setting sprays. I really do. The dewy one, again, the e.l.f. The e.l.f. dewy setting spray, I absolutely adore. This is probably my fourth repurchase, and I have another one sitting in my extra bin over there. I love this stuff, and at $8 for this much, I mean, compared to other... I just dropped the best one. But it's plastic, so it won't break. We're cool. But yeah, I love this. And it smells like coconuts. But there are no coconuts in it. Because I usually react to that. And I've never reacted to any of this. Now that I've just picked this one off the floor. For matte setting sprays. I, I mean, drugstore I would go with the Physician Formula. But I did get this one. And it's a smaller size. I cannot afford the bigger size. But... It is Makeup Forever Mist and Fix O2. It is the best thing ever. Every time I use this one and I go on camera or take pictures, my face looks like it's porcelain, like it's a doll. I love this. I would invest money in this company if I had any money to invest, but I don't. But yeah, I would love it. But I will use the Physician's Formula when this one runs out. Because, well, that's what my budget says. But you never know. Maybe someday there'll be a little bit extra money in the bank account. And I'll be able to get another one of these. Because I love it so much. And that about wraps up what is on my face. But the whole point of this was, was that palette from AliExpress worth it? My answer is yes. Definitely worth it. This palette, yes. It's worth it. It is. Just because one color is wonky and it just, you know, doesn't do anything, doesn't mean the other ones, I mean, there's like, what, 18 colors in there or something? Um, yeah. Just be prepared that if you live in Eastern Canada, like I do, it's going to take a very, very long time for it to get to you. Well, for $8, you can wait. I mean, 8 I don't think I can get a single of one color for eight bucks. I don't know, but I'm super impressed. My whole entire eye look is this, with the exception of, with the exception of this little Wet n Wild single in the color Sugar. I love that one for under the brow. I'm glitter, I like glitter. If you ever see me have an entire matte eye look, I'm going to a funeral or something. And even at that, I'm probably going to be glittering at a funeral. Um, but yes, this, worth it. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say was that, yeah. I mean, I still love high-end stuff, don't get me wrong. But for $8, if you're in a budget like I am, go for it. It's worth it. Just be prepared to wait forever. So, thank you for listening to my ramblings. For the past, you know, whatever minutes. And I wish you all a very good rest of the week and rest of the day. And thanks.